Hey guys, my name is Jake Antelis. I'm a music producer and mix engineer. And today I'd like to talk to you guys that have iPads and laptops or a desktop, and you'd like to use the iPad as a second screen connected to a computer for a second screen, whether it's because your desk is small and you want like a small screen, or you just don't want to buy a second screen. So there's an app for that. It's called Duet Display. And what it enables you to do is connect your iPad and use it as a second screen, including the touch screen on your iPad. So you can use your hands, and interact with you know computers that maybe before didn't have touch screen. You can use the iPad to do that and control your computer from a second screen. So it's super simple to use. You go to duetdisplay.com. It works for both PC and Mac. So it does cost $20, which is what you pay in the App Store for the actual iPad app. So you need this app on your computer. And then on the App Store, you just search up Duet Display. Uh, it's $20. Uh, you download it, install it. And the same for the computer, which is right here. Download these guys. You install it, run it, make sure it's open and then click uh, Duet Display on your iPad. And if it's connected, it should connect automatically. This, at least it does on my computer. So let's check it out. Uh, I have an Ableton session right here. And what I'd like to do is actually have the mixer show up on my iPad. So it works as you would think it would work on a computer. You simply drag it to the right side right here. And you see it's going into this other screen here. And what's cool is, you know, obviously you, you can use your mouse like you would. But since the iPad is touchscreen, you can also just change settings with your hand or your finger. Like that, I'm changing the panning. And you can change the level. And say you have this plugin on a clip here, and you'd like to have the plugin on the other screen so you can see more real estate, and maybe perhaps you know use your fingers to automate it. So let's do this. Let's drag it over the same way we did the screen. Go to the right here, let's hit play. So as you can see, you can move around pretty much anything you want to whatever screen. I can move this back to my other screen and it works fine. And it's something that I find super handy for working on a laptop. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, you know, if there's anything you'd like to see in the future, please let me know in a comment and hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.